I feel like Mr. Rogers, like with my sweater. Um, okay. It's like a crazy day today. Let's, let's do this. Um, wait in and I'm up. Okay. Um, I think I was up 1.4. Is that right? That's not right. Damn it. Yeah, I think it was 1.4 because I was uh, Hold on. I have the right one. So it was 1.4. Yeah. Which it's like I don't even know. Things that were different this week. Um, now, you guys know, I do not like, I don't like trying to pinpoint one thing. Okay, you guys also know that the way I'm such a freak, there's no way I ate a miscellaneous four and a half to five thousand extra calories without noticing. So, the gain, it's kind of like, well, it's not a gain. It's up. It's, you know, it's kind of a weird place to be because if I was normal and I just was at this weight, I wouldn't even notice the 1.4. Just like I wouldn't notice being down a pound. It would just be, you know, um, I would notice how my jeans fit. And they actually fit looser, which is funny because lately people have been like, oh my God, you must be dropping so much weight. And I'm like, nope, actually it's kind of the opposite. And yet people see me different. And I think that that's to do with the toning that's happening, which could also be the fluctuation of weight. I am not one of those people to be like, every time I'm up, I'm like, oh, that's the muscle. Because I know I'm not like that buff. <laughs> but, um, I do think there is some, um, toning happening, which would probably cut down on the amount of loss shown on the scale. So, definitely over the past two weeks, I've done a lot more muscle work, and I have more muscles, uh, which is crazy that you can just tell that fast. But, um, other things that happened this week, um, I was home all week sick, so it, it was a change in my water intake, because you, you guys know, like, I schedule my water on those styrofoam cups, and, like, my day revolves around making sure I have lots of water, and in the house, that was just a little broken up and different, so I need to focus more, especially when I'm home, on drinking water. Um, I think that was a big difference. Um, another big difference was um, being sick, which is um, an inflammatory sickness. So there's an elevated amount of um, swelling, which can add to weight or, you know, to an uppage. Um, The 4th of July was in there, but I didn't really go overboard with that, but I did I did do maintenance calories for my dad's party and the next day while we grilled. Uh, so I didn't have as many days dedicated to losing as I did maintaining. And technically, a 1.4 is, like, gain, is a maintain. Um... A, a 1.4 loss is kind of a maintain. Like if if you look at it, I have maintained like this, like basically the same weight over the past four weeks or so. Cause I've been like, um, cause like, yeah, like four weeks ago I lost 1.6. Then three weeks ago I gained that gained that back. Then last week I lost 2.6. And this week I gained back one point, you know what I'm saying? So it's been kind of like right at the same numbers. 
Um, I think that could have something to do with switching up my food plan, um, which is fine. It's, it's something I have said since the beginning was I wanted to get down. Like I had a goal of 110 pounds, which is right about where I'm at, but that I wanted to get to my body's comfortable weight. I don't want to be cutting calories so low just to get lower, only to gain it back. I don't want to be sick or feel tired or, you know, any of that stuff. So, I'm okay. Now, what did happen today, and it's kind of, I don't know. Um, I was talking to my leader, and I was like, I, like this, I have been stressed about trying to get to 140 so that I can make lifetime so that this can be free because it is expensive and I don't have the money and I need like it's like gym Zumba Weight Watchers okay well the gym is necessary uh, for obvious reasons Zumba is a passion I cannot give up Weight Watchers like out of the three Weight Watchers is the thing that I could do on my own for free at home. And so if I have to give one up, that's the one that's going to go. And I don't want to do that, but I also can't keep paying all three of them. And so she was like, well, why don't we just make your goal weight one, um, 146 and then you're there and because you're, you're under that, so you'll be good. And then you just have to stay under 146. And I was like, okay not really how I envisioned it happening you know of course not it's kind of like running a race and then having to like jog or walk the last half a mile but I am glad it happened I got my little star for my keychain I'll show it to you guys and um you know it's like I'm ready for lifetime and I feel kind of like it is going to take a stress off so the slower weight loss, which I'm fine with, the really the biggest thing was like I just needed to make it free. So like now that it's on its way to getting there, it's cool just to focus on the half pound to a pound and be happy and let things settle. So um, definitely, like I said, going forward, I'm going to work on water intake and um, – I mean, I really can't, like, can't do anything about the body situation and the inflammatory situation. So everything else is just going to be continuing on this path and seeing where it goes and continuing to make healthy choices and stuff like that. That was the way in. Um, the meeting topic today was, um, was called If Only. Like, I would lose weight if only I had blank. Or I would lose weight if blank. Okay. And um, what we did was we sat down. It was like, what do you see as being, like, your big blockages? Like, I would lose weight if I had a home gym. I would lose weight if I had a personal chef. I would lose weight if I had a workout buddy. And it was like, so what things can you do to make that happen? Well, you can't, you know, you can either work a DVD or buy a piece of equipment or you can join a gym. Um, you can learn to cook. You can plan ahead. You can have a friend come over and help you cook while, you know, um, and then work out buddy, you can go to the gym and find somebody. You can ask somebody to work out with you, you can find somebody who already does and, and talk to them. You know, like there are ways around all of the things that we give ourselves as an out, as like I'm letting myself off the hook. There are ways to like stick it to yourself and make you do it. So I think that like I used to have that mindset because I used to be like, oh yeah, I would lose that much weight if I was on a show. Or yeah, I would lose that much weight if you know, I got surgery or whatever. And then finally it was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to lose the weight, like the end. And there isn't going to be a show for me. And, uh, you okay? 
there isn't going to be a show for me. Well, I made my own show on YouTube. Whoop, whoop. But, uh, and there isn't going to be a surgery. It's just going to be me and food, like, doing the damn thing. And you got to just make it happen. And I think there's, like, so many aspects of it. But, like, it's something that I say all the time, and it's that you can't constantly give yourself excuses or you're never going to get it done. So, there you go. And that goal feels kind of fraudulent. So, you guys know that my, like, as of right now still, my goal is 130. So, I'm at my Weight Watchers goal, hoping to make lifetime, but my ultimate goal is 130. I will let you know if that, that gets adjusted because if I feel like I'm fighting and fighting and I and that's like a weight that I'll always have to fight to maintain, then I will put it I mean, I'm happy with my body now. Um, I mean, you sure you're okay, baby? Okay. Um, I mean, I want my tummy tuck. But, I mean, it's everything else. Like, I'm cool with being a size 6'8", I'm cool with, you know, my baggy jeans being a 9, and I'm happy with, I like getting dressed in the morning, and I don't mind pictures being taken, so I'm happy, but health and BMI, I wanted to be 130, so, if I continue, and I feel like it needs to come up, I will, but other than that, that's still my goal. So when we talk about being at goal, we're talking about my um lifetime. Let's make this free. We watch this goal. Cause I'm still I'm like sixteen pounds from my actual goal. Sixteen pounds. And you know, I almost got frustrated today and then I was like, you know what? Let me do the math and figure it out. And when I did, I like my average weight loss is 0.75 for the past eight weeks. So, oh, that's what happens when you make a video at 10 o'clock at night. Um, so I'm like still like technically not at a plateau, and still gonna just keep trying to go down the right road and get it done. Here's my way in. I'm gonna go check everybody else, see what's going on, and uh Hopefully I'll get to comment. Oh but you know lately I haven't been on the comment. Like I type these ridiculously long comments up and then BAM nothing. Sorry this one's so down. The last couple have been, but I don't have any energy. Like, this is actually me giving you a lot of energy right now, which is crazy. So.